Okay, everybody, gonna whip through some more used vinyl that we have and uh, stuff that's been shown before, maybe a few that you haven't seen, or maybe you missed some of the videos that had these. This is stuff we still have, and I think there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, and I'm just gonna try to whip through it. I'm just gonna say what it is, um, and for the most part, try not to say much about it, unless I think it's... Uh, Important to give you an idea. Okay, here we got Coheed and Cambria, The Aftermath, Dissension, Big Beige Demos for 12 bucks. We've got Rush, Classic Live, Exit Stage Left for 12. We've got Van Halen's debut album for five. We've got Van Halen, uh, one of their very best, Fair Warning for eight bucks. We've got Van Halen Diver Down for five. We've got Van Halen 2 for five. Johnny Cash at San Quentin for nine. Uh, Big Brother with Janis Joplin, we've got that for 12. Um, Double LP 24 of Hank Williams' Greatest Hits for 12. Uh, Dwight Yoakam, just looking for a hit for 22 bucks. Don't see Dwight Yoakam records too often. Classic Bob Dylan 3 LP, uh, kind of overview of his career up to a certain point um, it's called biograph it's classic it's 25 bucks here's a 12 inch by a really neat band from the late 80s the primitives kind of an early um kind of indie indie rock alternative kind of band um eight bucks for this 12 inch of the single crash which um Features a couple other tracks. The very best of Mose Allison for seven bucks. Um, everybody that likes jazz, jazz vocals, um, hip music of any kind really should have some Mose Allison. And this is a great little collection here for seven bucks. Um, some later Roxy Music records. We've got uh, Musique for six bucks. And Roxy Music, Flesh and Blood for 10 bucks. This is a band called Trist from Germany. It came out in 2013. Um, it's pretty black metal-y. Um, it's not a cheap record to get over the internet. You're not going to find it in a shop kicking around too easily. Um, I got 40 bucks on it. Um, if you want it... I'll bundle it with something else, um, and if you really want it, maybe we'll talk about a little bit better price. Uh, Daryl Hall and John Oates, Ecstatic. Not one of the most common ones, but um, I love this record. I love all Hall and Oates. Um, this one's kind of at the, the beginning of their more new wavy vibe. Ten bucks for Hall and Oates, Ecstatic. Um, good blues album here with Otis Spann, uh, Walter Horton. It's Freddie Jones and Eddie Taylor. And um, it's an original album on Testament Records. Um, some pretty deep blues for 20 bucks. Here's a solo album by David J., who was uh, the bass player from Bauhaus, uh, called Songs from Another Season. David J., 10 bucks. Laura Nero's Gonna Take a Miracle. That's one of her most classic songs. If you don't know Laura Nero, but you love Joni Mitchell, if you love um, artists like Carole King, um, Harry Nielsen, um, Laura Nero is just top of the pile. She's wonderful. But another thing that's really special about this record is she's backed up on... Uh, backing vocals by the group LaBelle, which was uh, obvious from, from the name Patti LaBelle's group, um, late 60s, early 70s, into the disco era before Patti LaBelle became a solo artist. So Laura Nero with LaBelle, it's just a really neat combination, and it's wonderful, and it's only six bucks. All right, we got the Ohio Players, Fire for five. Isaac Hayes, Hot Buttered Soul for seven. Midnight Star, No Parking on the Dance Floor. That's a 80s 
dance floor classic, uh, which is still a hot track today, if you ask me. And this is a 12 inch remix. Um, and it's only four bucks. We've got the classic Days of Future Past by the Moody Blues for six. John Cougar Mellencamp, the Lonesome Jubilee. If you like Mellencamp at all, uh, which I do, I think he's a great singer-songwriter. I like his vibe. And I really like this record. It's nine bucks. we got Ray Charles, Modern Sounds and Country and Western Music for nine. This is um, Wise, I guess is how you pronounce it. Y-S. Um, by um, Joanna Newsom. My brain started to freeze for a second there. This is um, her third or fourth album. And um, if you like Joanna Newsom, this is uh, among some of her best material. It's great. This is a used copy, um, but this record's been out of print for some time. And used copies have kind of gone up in value. This one's gently used for 25 bucks. Talking Heads, Fear of Music. Classic Talking Heads record. Um, I think their first one produced by Brian Eno. It's eight bucks. Duran Duran. Um, Seven and the Ragged Tiger. Probably not as big as Rio, but it's next to it. It's got the reflex. It's got uh, Union of the Snake. The Seventh Stranger. New Moon on Monday. It's a great record. Eight bucks. Little Queen by Heart. This might be my favorite Little Queen record, possibly uh, just for the title track alone. Um, but uh, it's got Barracuda on it, and um, this record kicks butt. If you like heart, if you love Nancy Wilson's voice, or, or Ann Wilson's voice, I, I always cross the two. Um, you know, if you have Dreamboat Annie but don't have Little Queen, you need that. It's eight bucks. This is a really nice copy of Beggar's Banquet by Rolling Stones. An early pressing of it. The vinyl's in excellent shape. It's 20 bucks. One of Thin Lizzy's best or at least most loved records, uh, Black Rose. Eight bucks. Steely Dan, Countdown to Ecstasy for eight bucks. Quiet Riot, Metal Health. Only six bucks. You might think this is just a cheesy hair metal record, but... It's really kind of a pop metal record, and the songwriting's really good. If you thought Quiet Riot was cheesy, well, I don't know. Maybe uh, try again, because um, this is a really fun pop metal record that uh, I can listen to over and over again. Six bucks. Face the Music by ELO. It's got uh, Evil Woman on it. Strange Magic right there. It's got Strange Magic. It's five bucks. The Eagles' greatest hits for ten. Uh, normally you can get this record a bit cheaper, but this is just like a pretty pristine copy of it. And it just always sells. So ten bucks for Eagles' greatest hits. Al Green, Call Me for fifteen. Johnny Cash. This is a Johnny Cash album on Sun Records. It's got the Ballad of a Teenage Queen, I Walk the Line, uh, Big River, some of these other songs, I don't know if they're his most known songs, um, but it's a great record. It's early Johnny Cash. What more can you ask for? It's only six bucks. This uh, always sells. It's um, switched on Bach. Um, it's an early kind of uh, example of what you could do with, with the Moog synthesizer uh, by transposing some classic electronic or classic uh, uh, cl classical music. I'm sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied. Um, and it just, this record always sells. Switched on Bach. This is Embrace, Ian MacKay after Minor Threat, before Fugazi. Um, you know, kind of emo hardcore punk from DC in the early eighties, 15 bucks. Dire Straits Communique for eight. Dire Straits Brothers in Arms for eight. 
Here is Jason Isbell and the 400 unit. Um, Jason Isbell came out of Drive by Truckers and um, has been doing really well on his own. This is 35 bucks. It's um, it, it's pre-owned, but it wasn't even played. And um, this is a particular variant of this release on orange vinyl. It's uh, Jason Isbell and the 400 unit live at the Ryman. And right now, you're probably not going to get it cheaper online. 35 bucks. We got Jimi Hendrix, Electric Ladyland, obviously, uh, 12 bucks. The Police Synchronicity for 8 bucks. The Police Zenyatta Bandata for uh, 6 bucks. This here, I'm trying to get somebody excited about this. The Best of T Rex. T Rex to see. It's a, a pretty classic or notorious T Rex best of uh, that was released. Um, a ways back, it was earlier than, than some of the greatest hits that were coming out on CD. Um, almost every track on here is a solid banger T-Rex song that you know. But the reason to get this, I've tried to tell people before, it has Raw Ramp on it, which is um, otherwise only a B-side to, um, uh, I think, the Get It On single. And um, come on, it's just a killer record to put in your collection. It's 20 bucks. Frank Zappa, Overnight Sensation for 12. Rolling Stone, Sticky Fingers, not the legitimate zipper. Um, however, this pressing of it uh, still fetches um, some decent money online. And 